What's up, freaks? I'm gonna run you through a quick basic strength circuit. We call it the big six. It's your big six basic movements. You just need some dumbbells, a heavy pair, a light pair, and a medium pair for the different types of exercises. Just six basic movements that are doing a specific order. Let's run through. We're gonna start with a flat chest press. You can do this on the floor, on a bench, on a stability ball, whatever works for you. We're using about 60 pounds here for this, just for this round. <sighs> chest press, tap the elbows to the floor, drive it up. Since this is on the floor, on the bench, you could bring these down to your chest. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. <sighs> in through the nose, way down. <sighs> <sighs> down to about 90 degrees, elbows tucked in slightly. <sighs> Protecting the shoulders, stick that chest out. Working the chest, the shoulders, the triceps. <sighs> Doing a full circuit here. We're gonna tell you about how the breakdown goes at the end of the round. <sighs> Depending on how much weight you have, you can do 10 reps, 12 reps, eight reps, 15 reps, 20 reps, 25 reps, whatever. Get the work in. <sighs> Don't worry about getting burnt out because the way the circuit's done, you're gonna do different muscle groups each set. So you're going right into a squat using that same heavier weight that you used for the chest press, we're gonna use it, hold it up here at your chest for a squat. Down on the hips and heels, head is up, abs are strong, chest is out. Hope you can see the whole body in the picture at the same time. How about that? So there's the squat. We're gonna take those same heavy weights used for the chest press and for the squat, we're gonna use it for a bent over row. Both arms. So right here, abs are strong, back is straight. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. About 20 of those, going right to a overhead, standing overhead, shoulder press to your medium weight. You're not gonna be able to use the same weight you used for the chest press. So a shoulder press, medium weight. Elbows about 90 degrees. <sighs> Exhale when you're pushing up, in through the nose and way down. Stabilize the shoulders, keep them strong. Don't come lower than that 90, maybe an inch too lower than 90. You wanna keep tension on your shoulders. This point in the circuit, you might not get the high reps like you did in the first three. You're gonna go right back to your heavy weight for a deadlift. You can do straight leg, bent leg. We're gonna kind of do in between here. When you're leaning over, slight bend in your knees. Extend when you come up. Back is straight. Working the hamstrings, glutes, lower back, core is tight. Crushing grip. Upper back is pinned together. Your face is following your chest. Strong abs. Finishing off. Of course, it wouldn't be a strength circuit without some bicep curls. The curls for the girls. Palms up, double arm. Elbows stuck to your sides. Resist down. Exhale on the way up. In through your nose, way down. No bounce, all squeeze, hold your ground. Even here, your abs should be tight. Even though it's a bicep curl, think of it as a full by exercise. So just six sets, you can see, my entire body right now is pumped. I worked all the major muscle groups in various directions, and you can see I'm out of breath. So what we did, the big six, flat chest press. So it was a push, squat was a lower, the bent row was a pull, the shoulder press was a push, the deadlift was a lower, the bicep was a pull. But not only that, we wanna hit them 
in different planes, different movements. So the flat chest press was a horizontal push. The bent over row was a horizontal pull. The squat was more of a quad dominant lower. Then the last three, the shoulder press was a vertical push. The deadlift was a hip dominant, hip dominant lower, and the bicep curl was a vertical pull. So just this six movements alone, you could build off your strength training routine around these six. And at the same time of working all that, my core was working, so I had to stay tight. I was still able to work all those muscles because it was working antagonistic muscle groups, meaning I was using the, the push, then the pull. So the pull movement muscles were still fresh. Your grip starts to fade a little bit, but that's fine. And on top of that, you could do, and you could mix up the weights. Depending on the chest press, you might could use a little heavier than the shoulder press. If you don't have heavy weights, you can use light weights for all these. Just do reps of 15, 20, 25, even 30 of each of these. And when you're done, you can see I'm still catching my breath from just those six sets. It's going to get your heart rate up. You're going to get pumped up. You're going to get your heart rate up. You're going to still get a full body workout out of just these six. So put these six together, add into your routine. You can do this anytime. You could base a strength workout off this for the month even. You can rearrange the order of these movements. Push, lower, pull. Instead, you can go pull, lower, push. You can go push, pull, lower. You can go lower, push, pull. Lower, pull, push. So many variations you could do with this, and that's for double arm. Then, you could also go to alternating on all these. Or single arm on all these. Or maybe double arm for one movement, alternating for the second, single arm for the third. So just by changing up those variables, you can create endless amounts of circuits with this stuff. Then you could do single arm, single leg on the deadlift. It's, it's just endless. The order you could put them in, but the order does matter. The exercise order does matter that you're putting them in. It's very specific. So basic strength training circuit, but totally effective. I've been doing this exact type of circuit, just different variables, adding the weights, changing the direction of the work, the order of the exercises, changing the rep ranges, and been doing this, this type of circuit for almost 20 years. It will keep you in shape all year round, keeping you strong, fit, lean, and tons of energy because you're also getting your heart rate up, boosting your metabolism, building lean muscle. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.